The year was 2011 and we lost a gem to cancer. Name Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple Computers. And I'm sure you all must have used a touchscreen phone till date and he was one of the pioneers whose company came up with this product called iPhone. Now this video is not about Apple or iPhone, but this video is all about cancer. Cancer has impacted everybody, irrespective of what you are, what you have done, what economic level you are living, whether you are rich or a poor. It impacts everybody. Just the truth is, in poor people, it remains undiagnosed and they just die a silent death. While in rich people, of course, they can afford some kind of treatment. But definitely, it is impacting both sides of the story. So, as the economy, as a country, as a nation, as a world where we all are connected, and we, when I say connected, you can imagine what happens in China can impact as a pandemic in India, right? So, it can impact all of us. So, how can we beat cancer? How can we fight with cancer? Today, we are going to discuss top 10 approaches. Now, this video is not for the general public. This is all for our subscribers who have interest in molecular biology, cell biology, biochemistry and various other subjects and they want to make a mark in the field of cancer research. So, to start with, uh, like I said, cancer can impact everybody. No matter your name is Sarah or Sarla, you can be impacted. But we do have some therapies, we, ha we do have some success stories till date, which is helping People beat cancer. Now, the first one in this list is called as reprogramming the immune system, actually, and that is called as CAR T cell therapy. A lot of research, a lot of companies are jumping into this. So, this is basically immunotherapy where chimeric antigen receptors or CAR T cell is introduced. So, it is a therapy where T lymphocyte of an individual is modified into more effective and cancer fighting. Now, it is commonly used against blood cancers and uh, the T-cell of the patient uh, is subjected to genetic engineering to produce antigen-specific receptor on cell surface. Now, moving forward, we actually call it as chimeric antigen receptor or CAR, CAR T-cell. Now, this modified T-cell or the CAR T-cell eventually subsequently multiplies in the blood and it is used against the tumor. Now, this therapy has shown exceptional results in both cases of blood cancer, which is called as leukemia, as well as lymphoma. So, this is one of the topmost therapies which cancer researchers recommend for patients. Now, so far, we have two companies. One is Kite Pharma and they have a therapy called as Yescarta and Novartis has a therapy called as Chimeria which are the most two most successful CAR T cell therapy developed so far. Now these two therapies have performed well in patients suffering from even the last stages of cancer and who had not responded to any kind of treatment priorly. So that is where this is a game changer. Now the second one on the list is called as Path Blockers or Checkpoint inhibitors. Now, what is checkpoint inhibitor? Let's find out and understand. So, this is again the immunotherapy. In this therapy, we will use the proteins responsible for the immune system regulation and they are blocked with the help of drugs called as inhibitors. Now, it is used to treat lung cancer and melanoma such as uh, skin cancer uh, and commonly used inhibitors are CTLA-4 inhibitor, PD-1 inhibitor and PDL-1 inhibitor. Now, Pembrolizumab or Keytruda, Epilimumab, Yervoy, and Nivolumab, Opdivo, and Etzizolizumab, that is called as Tisentrix, are some of the currently used inhibitors for this treatment. Now, more details about this you can read in the description. Now, just four, uh, four or five months ago, one of the previous US President Jimmy Carter had announced that he had metastatic melanoma and that had spread to his liver and brain and uh, now he has said that he is cancer free so that could happen because of checkpoint inhibitors and these therapies are really effective even in the last stage now this particular therapy which i'm talking about is ketruda checkpoint inhibitor therapy which he took and accidentally ketruda was discovered as a game changer in cancer treatment and now that it is being used widely so yes this is the second success story under the cancer therapy using biotech solutions now the third one is called as pinpointing the weak one and that is called as targeted therapy 
So what do we do here? With the advancement in science, we can now treat cancer with the help of patient's genetic makeup itself. So there are different types of targeted therapies actually, such as hormone therapies, signal transduction therapies, apoptosis inducers, and many more like that. Now, unlike any other treatment, this therapy focuses on treating specific molecules present in the cancer-affected cell. Now, with this approach, the treatment will have fewer side effects and it will minimize the damage to the patient's other cells and that's generally what happens we have seen even in radiotherapy you know, it doesn't just impact the melanoma it impacts the other normal cell also so that won't happen here now one of the commercially available therapy called as imantinib which is commercially known as Glivac has transformed the cancer treatment and it comes under this particular therapy. Now this drug inhibits the tyrosine kinase associated with BCR ABL PDGF that is platelet derived growth factors and SCF which is stem cell factor and KIT protein. Now these cells are responsible for causing blood cancer mainly in chronic myelogenous leukemia CML, acute lymphoblastic leukemia which is called as ALL and certain skin cancers also. So again this is one of the most successful cancer therapies we have till date. Now the fourth one which we have is called as mimicking the natural antibodies and we also popularly call it as monoclonal antibodies. Now what happens in this in this ca cancer treatment we are going to use monoclonal antibodies which is going to mimic the natural antibodies and they have a dual mechanism actually they can trigger the immune response to attack and destroy the cancer cell or they can bind to the cancer cell so that the immune system can recognize it and destroy it. So monoclonal antibodies actually also is a very popular therapy which has been used and one of the revolutionary innovation I'm sure you must have heard of it is called as Herceptin. Now what happens under Herceptin it is also known as Transtuzumab and it is used to treat metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer. Now it was through these efforts of Dr. Salman that Genentech funded research leading to the development of Herceptin. So Dr. Salman has worked on this and over the years studies have shown that 92.9% .9 of the patients have, who have been treated with Herceptin with chemotherapy are now disease free. Now moving forward we have the fifth therapy now which is also known as PARP inhibitors and this exploits the cancer DNA repair flaws. Now with the cutting edge advancement which we are seeing day by day uh, in targeted cancer treatment, the drugs have now been particularly designed to treat cancer cells which is with BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. Now these genes are responsible for the breast, ovarian and prostate cancer. So these cancer cells depend on poly-ADP ribose polymerase which is also known as PARP. Now, PARP is used for DNA damage repair in humans and as a cancer treatment, the PARP inhibitor inhibits the function of PARP, not allowing them to repair the damaged DNA in the cancer cells. So obviously, when the DNA is not damaged, it will get destroyed and the lymphoma will go away. So that is where PARP inhibitors is used. So this is the fifth one so far. Now, look, let's look at the sixth one which we have and that is called as CRISPR gene editing. I'm sure you must have heard of it. What do we do? We have created a storm in the science scientific world with gene editing using CRISPR techniques. So CRISPR is a tool that took the scientific universe by storm and this therapy is conducted by modifying the T-cell again. The synthetic gene is added to the T-cell on which appears a claw-like protein called as a receptor that sees the molecule on the cancer cell. So then CRISPR is used to remove these the three genes out of which two can interfere with the receptor and other one limits the cell's cancer killing abilities. So we can utilize CRISPR-Cas9 to treat cancer as well. Now moving forward, the seventh one which I have for you is called as virus therapy or oncolytic virus therapy. So we are now using virus to attack the cancer cell. So these are genetically modified virus, so nothing to worry. And they are used to target and destroy the cancer cells. These viruses can also deliver therapeutic molecules and specific tumors and produce immune boosting molecule once they infect the tumor cell. Now after the infection the cancer cell will burst and release all the cancer antigens and these antigens will then simulate obviously the immune system which will further eliminate the remaining tumor cells nearby and potentially elsewhere in the body as well because now the immune system can easily identify and kill the cancer cell. So this is one of the most successful oncolytic virus therapy. 
Eighth one which we have is again for the prostate cancer actually. So prostate cancer is actually very common among old men and geriatric patients. So a rapid multiplication of cells is found in the prostate gland in humans and usually it is a slow growing cancer so it remains undetected till the last stage and the symptoms are not seen and the person looks healthy but in advanced stages it spreads to the other parts of the body also and that is where the threat becomes exponentially high so two revolutionary drugs which has come is called as tandy and zitiga which has changed the treatment process and increased the survival rate for prostate cancer that, that is the eighth one for you ninth one which we have is called as antibody drug conjugates Now in this cancer treatment what we are doing we are using the targeting ability of antibodies and combining it with the power of chemotherapy so these by uh, pharmaceutical drug comprise of monoclonal antibodies cytotoxic drug and linkers now the monoclonal antibody will bind with the antigens on the cancer cell surface and that makes it easier to identify the cancer cell and when the adc will enter the inside the cancer cell the linkers will get detached and cytotoxic drug will be released and that will start interfering with the essential components and functions of the cell and finally it will disrupt the cell and that is where the ninth one antibody drug conjugate we have adcs such as tdm1 called as cadicilla adsetris which is called as brentezumab vidotin then nher2 which is called as trastuzumab deruxetan and polyv which is polatuzumab vidotin so these are the drugs which are successful so far and have shown promising results as well now the 10th one which we have is called as mrna cancer vaccine that's the future of cancer treatment and the most successful probably it's going to be in the future with this therapy is currently not completely in mainstream but the vaccine is also uh, showing its significance slowly one of the unique aspects of mrna is that it can be personalized so unlike the traditional vaccines or traditional treatment mrna is built using genetic information so in collaboration with pfizer biontech uh, they are working on developing one of the first covid-19 vaccine they have already developed and they are now developing mrna based cancer vaccines for melanoma breast cancer and other solid tumors solid cancers using that knowledge so moderna is now developing mrna cancer vaccines for multiple cancers and cancer vaccines which will focus on specific mutations which is found in patient's tumor cell and like i said it is going to be personalized so we will see better results compared to any other therapy so these were the 10th cancer approaches or therapies which we have currently as of today in 2024 for cancer however only time can tell what will happen in the future i hope you enjoyed this video do let us know in the comment section what kind of questions do you have for cancer and if you want to make a career in cancer definitely we will make more videos on that thank you so much keep shining take care bye bye